everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I am going to be doing a trying new products. I've gotten a few things lately so I thought I would share it with you guys. So I've already done my eyes because I didn't really have any new eye products. So I more have more face products and stuff like that. So stay tuned if you want to see this video. Okay, so today I just picked up this BYS foundation primer. It says color correction. It just looks like this. So it's like a yellowy colour. I don't know how that's going to be on my skin, but we're going to try it out and see how it goes. So let's just try this out. It's just a yellowy type of colour primer. Hopefully it's going to counteract my redness. Oh, it feels super smooth. So it's silicon based. It's super smooth, smooth feeling. I do like the feel of that. As for the colour, I'm not sure why it's the colour it is. It might just be like that, but it feels nice. So I'm sure if you keep seeing this in videos that it's a product that I like. So once again, it's just a colour correction foundation primer. This is how it looks. I picked this up for $4 from Kmart, so I got it on a bargain. Okay, for my foundation today, I am using the new new to us Australians, L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte. Mine is in the shade 22 Radiant Beige. I'm excited to see how this goes. If you've been watching my previous videos, I am in love with the Matte and Poreless, which is the Maybelline one. So this is what these two look like. So I've been loving this one, so I thought I might as well put this one down today and pick up the L'Oreal one and see how it goes. I'm just gonna use it on the brush that I always use which is my Real Techniques All Over Foundation brush. I've heard that this is a higher coverage than the other one, and I hope colour's going to match. That should be okay. Okay, so at first glance, I absolutely love the colour match. The colour match is perfect. I have like one light layer of fading tan on, so I think it would match me regardless. It is so light, I used like maybe two standard pumps. The coverage is really good. My redness always peaks through regardless. Like, I just have really red cheeks. But I'm loving the look. It doesn't feel heavy. So, so far I'm loving that. So I guess it's going to come down to whether I like the Maybelline one better or the L'Oreal one. So I guess you'll see that in a favourites, or maybe I'll like them equally both. So that is the next product that I wanted to try out, but so far, so good. Okay, so the next product I'm going to try out is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I think everyone owns this concealer, and I'm like the last person to jump on the bandwagon. I could only get it in the, meet, the shade medium. I really wanted the light shade, but I'm hoping I can make this work. If not, I'll just mix it in. So I'll just use a bit of that, and then I will use a bit of my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This one's in the shade Sand Sable. I did pick up a new one of these in light, but I want to wait till this one runs out. So those concealers blend together amazingly. Now I'm just going to set under my eyes with my new Models Prefer Contour Kit. I have a full video on this. I'll leave it linked down below if you're interested. This is what it looks like. Okay, so now I'm just going to fill in my brows with the MAC Dip Down. It's a fluid line eyeliner. I really wanted the gel cream, but they didn't have any left. So this is what I'm going to be using. So this is what it looks like. It's a deep dark, dark brown color. I also bought the new Models Prefer brush. It's got your eyeliner, like your 
what's this called? Eyebrow on one end, spoolie on the other end. It's called the Shape and Fill MP07 Groom. It's Maybelline Dream Bounty Bronzer. This one is in the shade 90 Sun Glow. This is what it looks like. I'm not sure how this one's going to work, but I'm going to try my best. I don't know what brush to apply it with. Giving me like a mega glow, that's for sure. Can you guys see that glow? So I guess this look is going to be overly glowy and highlighted. Back into my Models Prefer kit. I take the middle shade to contour with. I am just going to quickly bake my face. It is one of my favourite things to do these days. So I just take one of these little things and I take my Face of Australia loose face powder and so just let that sit for a bit. I like to just hit any highlighted points that you want highlighted further, just hit with the powder. Okay, so I've just finished off the rest of my makeup, now to just get rid of that bake that we did. Now time for highlighter, I'm super excited about this, I'm going to skip on blush, I don't always do blush, it's not really a good favourite thing to do for me. I am taking the MAC Soft and Gentle, I'm sure everybody knows what this looks like, if you don't this is what it looks like. I'm super stoked that I bought this, it is stunning, Ooh. so I'm just going to pop that on my cheekbone, and this stuff is so pigmented, like Anyone who owns this knows what I'm talking about when I say it's super pigmented. Whoa. So we're just going to get a nice glow on like that. And now time for my lips. So before I do my lips, I'm going to use this new setting spray I got. It's the Models Prefer Makeup Setting Mist. It just looks like this. I previously had the Astralis one. You guys should know what I'm talking about. I had the Astralis one. So I wanted to try a new setting spray out and see how it goes. Okay, so for the lips, I picked up... I'm always picking up lipsticks, let's be real, but I thought I would use this one. This is the Maybelline, I don't know what these lipsticks are called, but it's this packaging. And this is the colour, it's a stunning coral colour, it's in 416 Coral Fever. So this is what that lipstick looks like. It's a bit sheer, but it's still a pretty colour. It's probably more on the orange side that I like. I like more pinky light curly. I mean it still looks really nice. I'll give you a second lip option if you don't like this one. I mean it's okay, it's not the worst, it's not the best, but I think I paid like four or five dollars for this lipstick. So can't complain. It's another one to add to the growing collection of lipsticks anyway. So I'll take this off and pop another lip option on for you. Sports Girl Powder About It lipstick in MOD, which is makeup of the day. It's this pretty purpley pinky colour. It's definitely my shade. This is like my favourite shade to wear, well, as of lately. Don't mind my lips, they're in the worst condition. This is what the lipstick looks like. It's a super pretty purpley colour. 
definitely my type of lippy so super pigmented I love this color and this is in the bargain bin if you guys know me you know that when I go to sports girl I just go straight to the bargain bin and they have five dollar lipsticks most of the time I pick them all up And this is this color. This is definitely a more me color and I like to wear this lip color with this eye look. I just think it's amazing. Like these colors need to be named after me. I'm so in love with them. So yes, this completes my makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed something a little bit different, trying out a few new products. I know I didn't have a lot and do a full face, but I'm sure further down the track I will have more products to show you. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel for more videos. It would really help me out. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!